have a pleasant day, sir. We are going to demonstrate the uh, VLOOKUP uh, value and the pivot table. So, we are here in Excel file. We have a data here. As you can see, we have a date, item, quantity, price, and total sales. For example, you want to add more information in this report that you can found in the other file or sheet. You can add the column by highlighting and click the right click and click insert. And as you can see, there is an, a column that added in the data. You can also highlight. It depends on you kung, kung pila ang imong uh, i-add nga column or row, rows that you want to add in the data. So, uh, just highlight and click the insert. You can also adjust the line by dragging the console and with the console that becomes like that. So, let's proceed to kung anong gusto natin pangitaon. For example, the brand. Brand name of that product or the Galaxy S20, the brand name. And the name who is purchase the product. And now, let's proceed to the formula of VLOOKUP. And ano nga ba yung VLOOKUP? Ang VLOOKUP is stand for Vertical Lookup. It is the functions that make Excel search for a certain in a com column. Ang vertical, um, vertical lockup is a consist of three required ag argument in a following order. Ang, ang lockup value is ano ang value nga ginagusto mo pangitaon. Tapos ang table array kung sa diin mo siya pangitaon ang value. Tapos ang column index number kung pangpila sa kulom ang pangitaon mo nga value. We should always remember na dapat ang lookup value is always in the first column. Since the Galaxy S20 ang first column, we should click it and magwa na da ang B3. B3 because Galaxy S20 located at the, at the second column in the third row. Let's separate it by comma. Next is table array. As what I have said, ang table array is pwede nga ara sa iba na file or sa next chat lang. In this video, sa next chat lang siya. I-highlight ta sa, and then after mo ma-highlight, amo na siya ang ginatawag na table array. This is the value of table array, A1 to D12. Separate by comma, then column index. Ang column index, kung sa ikapila nga column ang ginapangita nga value since ang brand name, ikasikon column, we will type number 2. After that, separate by comma and proceed to a range lookup. Ang range lookup is a logical value that specifies whether you want look, a V lookup to find an approximate match or an exact match. Number 1 or true is approximate match which is na medyo magkatulad lang. And then ang um, Zero or false is exact match. Ang eksakto nga result. Since exact result ang aton din na pangita, let's enter zero and close the formula by close parenthesis. And click enter. And this is the brand name. Uh, kag sa corner sa word ni Samsung, there is a point. Let's drag it uh, para magwa ang false result sa brand name. We can also lock the formula by inserting dollar sign in table array value which is next the exclamatory point. Insert dollar sign. After sang A, insert dollar sign. And then before sang D, insert dollar sign. And then after sang D, insert also a dollar sign. That's how to lock the formula of uh, lookup value. And then, it change mo lang ang iyang column index number. Para pag proceed mo sa next column, hindi mo na kinanglan mag-type pa sa bilog na formula. And the next column will be discussed by Ms. Kausapin, Ms. Romero, and Ms. Arangkanon. In the pivot table will be discussed by Mr. Carlo Castelio. Thank you. Now, let's proceed to the next column which is to find the name first is to type VLOOKUP or double click the VLOOKUP and automatically there's already an open parenthesis 
Next is to look up and value, which is the first column. Click Galaxy S20. Automatic magwa na daang iya value, which is B3. B3 kay arasha sa column B. And row 3 and separate by comma. Next is table array will be discussed by Miss Romero. There is also some problem with the table array. One example is the lookup value. The lookup value is not in the first column in the table array argument. One constraint of lookup is that it can only look for values on the leftmost column in the table array. If you look value is not in the first column of the array, you will see the number and a error. You can try to fix this by adjusting your lookup to reference the correct column. If that's not possible, then try moving your columns. That may also be highly practicable if you have large or complex spreadsheets where cell values are results of other calculations or maybe there are other logical reasons may you simply cannot move their columns around. The solution is to use a combination of index and match functions which can look up a value in a column regardless of its location position in the lookup table. The first step to effectively using the VLOOKUP function is to make sure your data is well organized and suitable for using the function. VLOOKUP works in, in a left to right order, so you need to ensure that the information you want to look up is to the left of the corresponding data you want to extract. The first step to effectively using the VLOOKUP function is to make sure your data is well organized and suitable for using the function. Next is pivot table. What is pivot table? A pivot table is a summary of your data packaged in a chart that lets you report on explore trends based on your information. Pivot table are particularly useful if you have long rows or columns that hold values you need to track the sums of and easily compare to one another. In other words, pivot table extracts meaning from the seemingly endless jumble of numbers on your screen. And more specifically, and let you group your data in different ways so you can draw helpful conclusion more easily. Now let's proceed how to create a pivot table. First, highlight your data. Next, find the insert, then click, and you will find the pivot table uh, placed in the left side uh, part of the Excel. Click pivot table. After that, there is a box nga mag pop up. Then dapat nakaselect lang. And also choose the data that you want to analyze and also uh, select the table or range and choose a new worksheet then click OK. Then you have uh, already a uh, blank sheet and that is a pivot table. You will see in the right side may ara title sang aton nga data nga gin highlight before ta nga mag start sa pivot table. And also, ara ang filter, column, or columns row, and also a value. So, ang ina nga box box, uh, dira ta ibutang ang ato na uh, desire, uh, desire report. So, sa pivot table, dapat may ara agid, da, uh, may ara agid ta uh, data nga kuwaan. Then, we will start the input data sa aton nga pivot table. So, uh, drag tang ato na desire information that uh, we want to present uh, for example the items uh, let's drag this the, the row pwede man sa columns ang pivot table nga allow gid niya to make our life easier uh, especially kung ikaw uh, ang nag-assign para mag obra report you can play at uh, anything that makes you report presentable uh, you can also change the color of your table uh, by clicking uh, the design uh, at the top corner uh, of your screen there's a lot of options there uh, there it's up to you kung ano ang gusto mong uh, design uh, that's all for this video thank you